Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how you can play PSX games into the PSP. Uh, not for that, what you need is a software named PSX to PSP and uh, of course you need a PSX game and uh, images of those games which you want to play in the PSP. Uh, okay, and the boot image. Now, in a moment I will tell you why I would need these images, just uh, be with me. Now, first step is to go ahead and uh, open up the PSX to PSP software. Now, this is a converter. This converts the PSX games into the PSP format so that PSP could run them easily. Okay, so open up the software and then uh, select your game, PSX game. Go ahead there and I'm gonna select the King of Fire 97. Okay, after that, you might have noticed that these fields are automatically filled out. Now, this information is pulled out from the game you have provided. This is the important information which it needs, like the game ID and the main ID. Okay, so don't worry about it, it's automatically pulled out from the game you selected. And after that, you need to provide an output folder that when it converts that game, where, he, uh, where it will put it. Okay, so go ahead and uh, provide the main output folder. I'm gonna give it a PSP, the main folder. Okay, now the next step is to provide an icon image and a background image for the game you are going to convert. Now, I will tell you in a bit of why we would need this, okay? Go ahead and uh, place the images 97 and the same you know, for the uh, background. You can uh, provide a different image for the icon and a different image for the background. You can download from the Google like the image uh, images.google.com and you can just put the name of the game it will provide uh, hundreds and thousands of the images of the same game and just save it and put it there. There is no worry about it. Okay, the next step is to provide a boot image for the, uh, for the game you are going to play. Now, I will tell you what the boot image is. Go ahead and put, uh, put a PNG or JPG or anything you want. I have downloaded this one from the Google. You can put anyone you want. Okay, so go ahead and put that. Now, let's do a preview and let me tell you why we would need these icon background and the boot images. Yeah. So, you might have noticed that whenever you play a game in a PSP, you have a menu where you select your game and when you select your game you get an icon of the game and the background of the game so this is the same thing the icon I've provided here will be the icon of the game uh, game you are going to play in the PS uh, PSP and will be shown as an icon and the background of the game will be the same uh, which will be shown on the game on the game when you select it as a background okay after that this boot image is the image which will be shown when you going to play the game when it's, uh, it's in the boot state, booting up, okay? So I have put this uh, nice image I have downloaded from the, uh, from the internet. You can put any image you want, okay? So don't stick with it. I will provide you these images in the description link, so don't worry, I will provide the uh, description uh, uh, link of the PSX to PSP in the description, you can download it from there. Okay, the next step would be to hit the convert, okay? Now as we uh, hit the convert, it starts the conversion of the ISO you have provided into the uh, PSP format. It takes a couple of seconds and it's also doing the compressing uh, thing. What it does is it uh, shrinks, it compresses the actual game size uh, to the some percent. Okay, so let it finish. Uh, 78, uh, almost done. Come on, there you go. Okay. So we are done. Now you can see the final compression 47%. Now I'm not exactly sure that what this uh, uh, compression does, but I slightly believe that this is the uh, uh, this tells that the final game after the conversion, the size of the game will be 47% shrinked or the compressed. Let's verify it. 
so this is my actual game is almost 399 MB and this is the folder which will be created when you convert the game uh, okay so go ahead and this is our actual game uh, so go ahead and see it's uh, 210 so 399 is the actual size and after the conversion is 210 MB so it's kind of a huge compression I guess okay so the next step would be to copy this folder into your PSP okay so I have already plugged in my PSP card and then go to the PSP folder and in the game folder just paste it there and you are done this that easy okay now uh, as it's done I will put it in the PSP and I will show you guys how uh, it's uh, showing in the PSP whether it's running or not uh, okay so let it complete and then I will put it in the PSP okay so I have put it in the memory card in the PSP and let's check that whether the game is running or not and the PSP go to the memory stick and then restart and bingo here is the game which we just created now you can see that the icon we put is there and the background image we just put is also showing there okay so go ahead and uh, play it let me start okay so this is the image we put uh, while we uh, were converting it as a boot image so there it is now let it load bingo now here is the PSP, PS1 running on PSP well thank you guys for watching and please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos okay so that's it this is me signing out bye bye